Hello guys, I'm working on a new video for you and in this video I will be talking about assembling the base of the cradle. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Today I'm working on the bottom part of the cradle. The trunnion of the gun lies in here for elevation and that hole is for the pivoting uh, shaft for a uh, traverse. Yesterday I cut some parts out with a plasma torch. They will come out like this. And of course I have to clean them. Grind all slack off. These plates are for the front and uh, will two bolt holes in the top and then uh, a bracket comes out for attaching it to the round shield. And as you can see this part should have been bent but uh, we don't have anybody can, that can bend this size of uh, sheet. So cut it about two thirds uh, the way down, maybe three quarters and then fold it over. For now it's only tack welded. Uh, for finish welding I will take this plate out so I can reach this sheet uh, and weld it on the bottom plate and then put this one back and then weld it here. And maybe for this one the same but I'll have to check what I have to do because I still have to drill a lot of holes in these two plates right through uh, for, for uh, bolt holes. Uh, there will be tubes welded in and then the bolt will go through the entire thickness. So I have to see uh, what the easiest way is uh, either to take this part off and then I can weld uh, this already in the inside and I can weld a portion here on the inside and then when I weld these on the bottom later when this is out that should be more than enough but first we have to go to a pack 43 gun to measure everything check if what i have done is correct and then we will finish weld everything these plates they will go and here there will be two of them and then a sheet over here till here and then this will be welded up and then the inside will be welded to uh, round bushing. At the moment I'm preparing these brackets. These are two. I had to bend this piece the big radius, I used a bigger tube, put it in the clamp, bend it over using a mallet and uh, just brute force. And for the tighter bend, I used a smaller rod, and uh, because it's a bit longer, I needed to clamp it outside the vice grip. So I welded these two together and then put it in between here. So I had it clamped in here but of course in the vise and then this in between and then I can bend it over using a hammer and brute force. And then of course um, It has to be like this. So it fits pretty good. And I will use it like a outside corner weld. Then you can round it off and it looks uh, nice. Got these two brackets in now. Bottom is already welded. I don't know if you can see it with this lighting. And the floor plate, I took it out so I could weld those pieces already. 
and uh, I have placed some supports around so that when I put the floor plate in it's already at the correct height which makes it a lot easier and uh, the next part is getting this bushing made but I have to wait for the bearing that goes inside so that we can make it uh, on a conventional lathe and fit it so that everything fits perfectly let's see if I can put the floor plate in with one hand <coughs> These gaps will, will be completely welded. Uh, this gap is a bit big, but uh, with the low amperage shutting shouldn't be a problem. Same as this one. And on the other side, the bottom one fits a lot better. And the top one is the same, but you can't see it right now with the shades. Um, the top part where the tube is, there the trunnion will sit in the bearings. But I have to wait till I get the bearings and uh, the rest of the parts assembled uh, so I can uh, tack weld it when all the parts are in. So I'm sure that everything is in one line. <laughs> 